evening, everybody. My name is Adam. Uh, I've not been doing stand-up for very long, and uh, I realised I came to it a little bit later than most people probably do in life. But then I figured that's true for a lot of things that I've tried. Um, I didn't try weed until I was 30. Uh, I didn't try stand-up until I was 32. And uh, sex, any day now. And, uh, <laughs> I think part of the problem is that I've never really felt like an adult, even at my age. You know, despite being prosecuted as one many times. I think part of it is that I'm a, I'm a single man, and when you get to, to 33 and you're still single, people start asking you about it in a different way. When you're young, they just say, ah, you're still finding your way, you'll find someone. You get to 33 and you're still single. People go one or two ways. They either go, like you're a four-year-old, oh, you're still single, you'll find a nice girl. <laughs> or they'll look at you with this sort of Operation U tree levels of suspicion. Oh, still choosing to be single, Martin. <laughs> Can't really win. Uh, I am trying to change my ways, though. I went on a date uh, not so long ago. Uh, it didn't go perfectly. Um, I was sat there so nervous. I was so tense. I was like. A pensioner's Viagra-fueled penis, but nowhere near as excited. <laughs> and I think she could tell. And she was trying to make the conversation go. She said to her, so Adam, tell me, uh, do you like films? And unfortunately, I can only reply with Pornhub.com as my companion for the past 10 years. So it's, yes, yes, I like films. Do you like all of the anal sex or just say? <laughs> that's, what, that's what porn does to you. Um, I was, uh, I was thinking about this, oh ladies, if you've ever complained that the media gives you uh, body image issues, try being a man who clicks on the big dick section of Pornhub.com. You can go to the gym and get in shape. There is no squat for this. Uh, there was an advert on there the other day. It said, click here to see naked pictures of your neighbours. And I nearly clicked on it until I realised I live between an old folks home and a graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> so it's nearly dead, or actual dead vagina. And I thought, I, I, I'm fine. Another advert popped up, it said, do you want to sleep with 20 year old hotties in your area tonight? I thought, no. Game of Thrones is on tonight. <laughs> and at 20, their music taste will be appalling. Do you have any nice middle-aged ladies who like comfy trousers and eating pizza? Uh, speaking of, of middle-aged ladies, I've, uh, I've been living with my sister's family recently. You know, I thought, I'm unemployed, I'm single. I might as well go for the loser uncle hat trick and live in someone else's house. And uh, while I've been there, I've had chance to observe my niece and nephew and a, a, a functioning family. But I've realised there are a couple of phrases which are just pointless when you're a parent. The first one, most dangerous one, is they'll be fine on their own for five minutes. Because you're essentially living under World War II blitz conditions at that point. You're just waiting for the siren to go off. Hee, hee, hee. <laughs> and you have to run in. Unlike World War II, you have to run towards the siren. But when you get in there, you get to hear the greatest line that a child can give. It's the confession denial. What happened in here? Why is George crying? George fell and hit his head. I did not push him. <laughs> <laughs> the, the other phrase that is it, just completely pointless. It's only two words. It's calm down. Have you ever been in a situation where you've seen a child going, ah, I want the thing. I want the thing. Calm down. Ah, oh, you're absolutely right. <laughs> Oh, I've behaved appallingly. I apologise to you, all these nosy bitches watching, and the entire ASDA staff. I hope this won't colour your future opinion on me, mother. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's that's my uh, my nephew, really, George. He's um, he's quite uh, temperamental, and um, I swear he learns English from an unruly hooker in a bad Vietnam film because his favourite <laughs> phrase is Me no like this! And it doesn't, it doesn't matter what you're offering. George, look, 
It's got a nice bubble bath over here. Me no like bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. What about uh, some hot milk in a bottle? You like that, don't you? Me no like milk. <laughs> all right, fine. Put uh, Batman on the TV for you. Me no like Batman. Put your fucking mouth. <laughs> all right? We're all, we're all emotional, but let's leave the Cape Crusader out of this. In fairness, he, he does really love Batman. But he's figured out that Batman's essential superpower is punching. So what he likes to do is put his costume on, hide in the house, and then when you walk in a room, jump out, shout, I'm Batman, and punch you square in the bollocks. <laughs> which, you know, I walk around the house completely terrified at all times, which is what Batman would want. <laughs> he doesn't try that with his sister, though. I, um, I heard him the other day, he tried it, and he, she gave the single greatest threat I've ever heard. He jumped out, he shouted, I'm Batman! Elizabeth went, no you're not, don't make me tape you to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> now you don't come up with that kind of threat off the top of your head. She is going to tape him to the floor at some point. And rather than telling the parents, I thought, I want to see how this plays out. So I've just started leaving rolls of gaffer tape around the house, hoping that I might find him, you know, on the floor, on the ceiling, inside a cupboard. <laughs> I'm Batman, of course you are, get me the suit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but parents, I think, can be, uh, can be quite sneaky as well. I, um, last week, it was glorious weather, uh, perfect English summer's day, everyone was outside, and I was happily inside playing video games. And my sister came in and said, oh, Adam, come outside, it's glorious. The kids are playing, paddling pulls out, barbecue starting soon, you'll have a great time. Fine, fine, don't want to be a stick in the mud. I went outside, the second... The second my feet were outside, they were inside. They fucked off. The door was locked. And then it's just me, two angry children, hyped up on ice lollies with super soakers and a hose, staring me down with menace in their eyes. And I swear, as the door was being locked behind me by the parents, I heard one of them say, Oh, we'll be fine for five minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all I've got to say. Thank you very much. <laughs>